All right, guys, welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Each and every part is just kind of, it's just a really awesome game, and I'm glad to have you guys along the ride with me. So, all right, guys, if you want more, just keep it up. All the likes and everything, greatly, greatly appreciate it. It kind of helps me, I guess, gauge whether or not you guys want more and more parts each day. So, all right, guys, love you, and let's get this. Yo! We're in a whole new area. Check it out. Let me see what we did on that mission really quick. Five headshots returned the- oh, really? A minute and forty? Really? I completed the mission without taking any health items. There was only like two people you fight, so I guess I can't really- I can see where it would be different. Alright, so we're all the way here now. Not too far away from where we were earlier. Guess I'm we're just going south each time. Alright, new horses are available to purchase in Scarlet Meadows and Strawberry Stables, okay. Good morning. Yo, this is sick. Just like we set up camp everywhere else. What exists? Hold on. Oh, if you guys need to write or read this, excuse me. Have at it. That's a lot. Just for, uh, just for a random thing right there. Alright, I should probably shave, but I'm not going to. <laughs> no, I don't know. I It doesn't look too bad just yet. I do need to, uh, clean my horse. I want to go to my horse really quick. I guess I can do that, and then I'll just keep going with the story. I kind of want to save my game, but I'm really not 100% sure. Hold on, let me... Alright, first off, feed. You gotta keep the horse bond. Yeah. Oh, I got my carrot. Nice. I'm gonna brush you off, clean you really quick. And then the pat. I think that's all you really gotta do. I don't think patting really does anything. Like if the the horse isn't like stirred up, I think it just calms them down. You know. Is that the temporary horse from the other area? It's like back over here. I think I can also uh, eat stew since it's been like a day or so. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike I'm gonna keep this outfit on for now too. Morning. I don't really see any reason to you know stop using it. Morning, Arthur. That's pretty sick. I like that they have all these little details in the game. Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh... Yeah, we're right here next to the icon. The other icon is, like, in a whole other area. It's gonna take a while to get over there, too. I'll do this mission really quick. Keep things moving. I'm telling you, like... Finally made it to chapter 3. I didn't think that was gonna happen. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of thick. I kind of wonder where the story is going to go from this point, because we got a, we're in a whole new area now. There's going to be a lot new, like a lot more new things to explore as well. That soundtrack, though. Hey, 
Old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. Gosh. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Wonder what the bond level I have with this horse is now. Should I check it really quick? I'm just. Uh, progress. Let me see what all we got. 22% done with the story. That's actually higher than I thought. Total completion. I'm scared to even look. Oh, no. 20%. Okay. We've done 28 missions, and we're 20% done. There's probably over 100 missions in this game. I'll check the bond stuff later on. We'll just keep it going for now. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there... Oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still... We do need money, so keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Ho oh, ho ho! This is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Man, I'm telling you right now, not using weapons Looks in this like area is going to be tough. Ahead. Play it cool. What about the guns on the side of my horse? Oh, I need to get my hat back, too. I forgot all about that. Uh, here we go. Arthur's hat. We're good to go. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> Well, how are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mine and investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big Helping guy. Helping the law. Blending right in. Change. I love it. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. Yo, this Do reminds me of uh them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! 
GTA 5 when you steal that, I think it's like a boat or something? Are you trying to get it back on the highway? What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like a son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You've said plenty. Ha <laughs> Catch me now! Oh, I'm about to. Oh, shit! Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Trying, yo. I'm going as fast as I can right here. Yeah. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Oh, no. Oh, double train. Woo, we made it. You cop bastards. I didn't do nothing. I don't think so. So I can't use guns. Come on, Mr. Callahan. I'm relying on you. You hold it right there. I like missions like this, because they're completely different from all the other ones. Come on, shit bag. Come on. You stop them, I'll stop the train. Nowhere else to go, man. Oh shit, if I mess this fight up. Get the hell away from me. My hat. No. Nice. Let's get it. Oh yeah, you you increase your health. I'll get my hat later. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Excuse me. There's so much stuff to explore I want to get, but I'm coming for you. I ain't got time to do all that right now. I'm gonna ride ahead and stop the train. Sorry, dude. End of the line. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. Can't do that. Oh man, I'm Oh wow. Come on! Come on! Now. Kill him. You sure? Sadly, sir. I don't think I can open the door from the outside. No. Watch yourself. He's as hungry as he comes. All right, I knocked him out. Hello? We're good. Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. <gasps> Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job, well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. 
They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. I like that we're branching out to a whole new area now. Bear left here. Man, I'm excited to see where this game goes. All right. So we can't cause trouble or use weapons. We are helping the law right now, so I mean, that's got to count towards something, right? This is such a long game. <laughs> it's got to be the longest game I've played, and that's just the story of it, too. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Get much than this. There is that. Just bring him here. Hey, fellas. Put him down right here. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying... Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, except fishing decline fishing. Don't think too hard. I'm gonna accept it just because. Oh, sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Check out this guy. Bold 
tooth yesterday. It came right out. Well, there's no use whining. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Yep. Yeah. Wait, girl. Mount up. Let's go. Ah. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still. And it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney's. What a terrible thought. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Gray? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. This is the spot. Down to the left there. I feel like if I refuse to go here, I'd have missed out on all this dialogue, you know? I feel like something big is gonna happen here. Whoa. Like it's meant to happen. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. Oh, this is where we were earlier. Oh, this is, it looks kind of just like the area, I think. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Actually going on a boat. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this feels like a main mission, because we still haven't right. technically finished the other one, I don't this think. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. I haven't actually been in a boat in this game yet. I think this is the first time, honestly. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. 
should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a... Sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Was it saying to use? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like... Oh, bluegill. I think you need the cheese for that. Bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be... Re You're lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Okay, that was a bite. There, hooked him. Very nice and gentle. <laughs> that is, it's actually a lot better than last time. Nothing's hit. Yup, there we go. Now reel him in, Arthur. Oh my goodness. It reminds me of Far Cry 5's uh, fishing. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm using the exact same mechanics as I did in that game. Almost got it. Hey, hey nice beauty. That's a big there fish. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Shit. Got away. Hey Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not oh, this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Damn it, I lost them. How long we have to fish for? Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. Oh, at least All they're right. like knowledgeable about how we got a guess. decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh. All right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Tater got burned and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? When he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round, 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 round. We care not for the martial men that do our state's disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. 
to them. We dance this round, around, around to them. We dance this round, around, around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground, the ground, the ground, the ground, the ground, the ground, the ground. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back in camp. It's always interesting. I like the uh, the fact that you can put it in cinematic mode and it kind of takes over for you. You still have to like hold down X, I think. I'll probably stop the video after I get back up here. I think this will end the mission too. It's been a while. All right. I think. I, but I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Nice. The New South. All right. You know, I, think I've heard a I wonder what happens if you didn't go fishing with them. We wouldn't have got the boat, obviously. Or maybe they would have brought it back anyways. There are you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? The hell is this? Like that. Oh, oh so, okay. Just, uh, it's not yellow. It's kind of throwing me off. I'm sure. All right, on that love. note, guys. Well, Hold on. Try someone with a heart. You do that. I think I'll sleep really quick. And call it a day. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the likes, and everything on these videos. It really means a lot. If you want more quickly, just destroy that like button. I guess before I go, I'll shave and uh, take it back. Take it back down a notch. Maybe all the way. There we go. Just to, you know, have some kind of, I guess, controlled chaos at this point. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Hello, Arthur.